Welcome back to my grand 10! Uh, roll! Oh, it's you, Mega Man! Thanks to you, I was able to create a prototype cure. Once we have all the pieces to the machine, we can start mass producing the medicine. I think everything's going to be okay. That's great news! I'll go back out there and get those missing pieces. Before you go, Mega Man, are you sure you're not suffering from any symptoms of Robwanza? No, I'm great. Use the medicine you have on those who really need it. Well, if that's what you want. Alright, now to take on Nitro Man! Alright, so this is Nitro Man stage, and right off the bat we got enemies that can charge into you. And, well, it's got a turret on top of its head, so you should take that out before you take out the enemy itself. Because if you just take them on, the turret will fly away and try to shoot you, so you want to shoot it down. Also, the music in this stage is fantastic. I love it. It just brings me back when I first played Mega Man and I started loving Mega Man music a lot more because of this song. Anyway, you got these vans that will charge into you and hurt you like so. So you want to jump on top of them. And I want to get onto that ladder. But yeah, you'll know there'll be like a sound that will notify that there's a car running in towards you. So yeah, we'll just ride on this van, and make sure not to ride all the way because there's spikes that will kill you in one hit. And yeah, I had the energy balancer so I was able to take those ammo packs. Now we got like trucks pretty much, like, I don't know, UPS type trucks. <laughs> I mean, they could be anything, but that's an example of these type of trucks. They're big, and you could touch the spikes if you're not careful. All right, just wait for the next one, and I'm just gonna jump right here. Oh crap! I have to. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that guy kind of throws me off. That Matt just just placed right there. I always feel nervous trying to avoid him. And there's an E-Tank if you reach the end of the room on the very high road. Gonna drop down here. We gotta take those screws. Don't wanna fall into the spikes. I'm always nervous when I jump off. See, I'll try to get this double E-Tank. Yeah, I'll, I got it. Alright, so now we got this enemy shield, you gotta shoot the head. But you wanna shoot the shield to back it off so it doesn't charge into you. Now you just gotta get the platform on each of these blocks. I don't know why they did it like this. And we are. Oh, there's a Sniper Joe. And we are fighting Nitro Man right now. Alright, so his weakness is the chill spikes, because you can pretty much poke a hole in his tires. That's why it's strong against Nitro Man. So also got the wheel cutter. That's basically the weapon you're going to get once you beat Nitro Man. And that was Nitro Man, he's pretty easy. Thank <laughs> you. 
You've got a new weapon! Wheel Cutter! Alright, next is No Underwear Man! <laughs> okay, really, it's Commando Man. <laughs> I like to make that joke a lot. So, anyway... This is Commando Man stage. It's all sandy. Yeah, there's mines in the sand. It's actually quicksand, because you're, like, sinking in when you're walking on it. Yeah. There's some enemies hiding underneath those mines, too. So you might want to watch your step. I'll take the high route. Oh, and we got this... I guess it's a sandstorm? Like... That one song. Okay. So you got some enemies popping out of the bombless pits. So you want to be careful. Because if they hit you while you're over the bombless pit, you can fall in and die. And that's no good. Like Sonic. <laughs> that's no good. <laughs> anyway. Well, actually, I have... Uh, some beat calls with me, so even if I did fall into the bottomless pit, I can save myself with beat. Beat the bird. <laughs> Whenever I hear the word beat, I always think of beat from Jet Set Radio, because I love Jet Set Radio. It's like one of my favorite video games of all time. Next to Mega Man. That's a, definitely a great game to play. Anyway, under these mines, you got uh, three screws. Big screws. So, you're gonna get a lot of screws for that, and you can Spend it at the shop. It's really good. A good thing that guy dropped some health. Oh, great. Alright, good. <laughs> Didn't have to deal with him. So we got another sandstorm coming. Thing. Yep. So the sandstorm pretty much pushes you back. Well, pushes you to the left in this case. If it's the other way around, it's going to push you to the right. So you've got some spikes, you want to be careful of that. Oh, crap. This, you gotta be super careful. You gotta memorize where the platforms are. See, I don't like that area right there. Alright, oh, no sandstorm. This one isn't as bad. But you still got those enemies that pop out of the bombless pit. It's real annoying. Come on! There we go. Oh crap! Another sandstorm! Ugh. Alright, I... Yikes! But I have beat the bird, so I'm okay. Yeah, I can just shut myself off right here. I think I should be good. Oh god, I hate this! This is easily my least favorite stage in this game. I did not want to have to use another... Mm, another beat call. I should stock up on some more, but... I also want to buy some E-Tanks, too. I'm going to be needing as many E-Tanks and beat calls for the Wily stages. That's for sure. Anyway, we're fighting Commando Man. And the wheel cutter is his weakness. And he basically just shoots these bombs, and the explosions can hurt you too, so make sure you watch out for that. Yep, that's Commando Man. I think it's a little ironic that it looks like he's wearing briefs when his name is Commando Man. <laughs> You got a new weapon! Commando Bomb! Alright, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to the shop! I'm gonna need... some E-Tanks and... No, I don't need an extra life. Beat Call. I definitely need that. 
Bike protection. I'm gonna be needing that too. Yeah, I'll get an E-Tank, and then that will be it. And then we're gonna take on the next Robot Master, which is Blade Man. You know, I think it's kind of strange that there's has been a Blade Man before. It was in the Mega Man DOS games. Yeah, it was basically those PC Mega Man games. But, yeah, they had a Blade Man. They also had an Oil Man and a Wave Man, which are also Robot Masters in the Mega Man series that we all are aware of. Oh, there's a screw. I wanted to get it with the Commando Bomb. But yeah, there was also Sonic Man, Oil Man, Bit Man, Torch Man. Yeah, I don't know too much about it other than some of those Robot Masters. But yeah, so anyway, Blade Man stage, it has these platforms that look like a teeter totter. You basically step on each platform to keep moving them. But if you wait too long, it'll start to go back. But I kind of hate this stage. Like, later on, there's a reason why I bought all these beat calls. I just go ahead and use the water shield right here. And take out the eyes. Ow. There we go. There's a white flag. The castle just gets destroyed. Kind of like Super Mario World. You know, when you just... When you destroy a castle, there's a white flag in the overworld. <laughs> Pretty much like that. All right, the next room is the reason why I had to stock up on a lot of beat calls. But I end up having to use it for Commando Man. Two of them. Let's see how many I use in this one. Oh, there's a screw over there. I should get that. I'm going to be needing them. All right. Actually, no, it was not this room. I don't think so. No, it's not this room. I do spike protection! Ah. No, it is not this room. I'm sorry. Uh, this room is not a problem. Except for the fact that I landed in spikes. But I didn't die because I had spike protection. But still. I'm lucky to have it. But yeah, there's another room like this. With these tear totters It has, like, bombless pits. And I hate it. I really don't want to have to buy more beat calls, but if I have to, I guess I will have to. Oh no, it is this room! It was just, like, later part of this room. That's all it was. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I haven't really... I don't really play Mega Man 10 that much, so... Yeah, I, I've memorized most of it. Except for Blade Man's stage, because I hate it. And I fell, but thankfully I had beat the bird. Hopefully I'll have to use another one. That almost went back. I would have shrieked if it went all the way back. Not to mention we have all these respawning enemies. So I'd have to fight them again. Anyway, we're at Blade Man. His weakness is the Commando Bombs. Let's do this. So Blade Man just stays on the ceilings or walls, throwing blades at you. Just hit him with the Commando Bombs. Actually, the explosions of the Commando Bombs does a little bit more damage, it looks like. You need to use an E-Tank. Yeah, we're almost done with Blade Man. Just one more hit. Oh, there we go. That is Blade Man. You got a new weapon! Triple Blade! Time to shop again! Let's see what we should buy. Hmm. Hmm. 
go ahead and buy some more E-Tanks. Yeah, that'll be it. Just E-Tanks, okay. Alright, so let's take on the last Robot Master, which is Strike Man! Oh yeah, here we go. So, as you can see, it's all sports-themed. You got these guys throwing baseballs at you. The music's pretty cool. Alright, so... We got a mini-boss coming up. And I... Kinda did hate it when I first played it. But... But yeah, he throws soccer balls at you, he got a gun in its hand. And I like to use the water shield to take him out. I had to use it to defend myself against the soccer ball. Yeah. Let's try the triple blade. There we go. That works. Ah, I don't want to get killed. I already got low health. I just started. Because we had that mini boss. I kind of hated it. We got footballs as well. It's American football, of course. Just shaped like lemons. Uh, in other countries, like footballs, pretty much soccer, I think. I don't know, I don't really play sports, so. I mean, I like to do inline skating, which a video game got me into that. Jet Set Radio. <laughs> yeah. So. Anyway. Yeah, you use those soccer balls to shoot them and then they'll fly up and then back down. Oh, crap! Alright. More footballs! <laughs> and soccer balls, or baseballs, or whatever. Or maybe volleyballs, I don't know. I do not want to get the extra life. I do not want to take any more damage. Now we got electric fences. Sheesh. Ugh. Wait a minute. Use the commando bombs! Why didn't you even think of that? Wow. But I need to use an E-Tank. Uh, wait a minute. I should have used the... the blast, like the explosion from the bombs. Maybe that would have done a lot more damage. Oh, man. Right now, I'm just... I'm doing pretty badly right now. I apologize. Here. Ah, there we go. Alright. Gotta use another E-Tank again. Alright, moving on. Of course, the enemies on the wall can flip over and shoot you. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. Ow. Ah, crap, you hit me. Alright. I think this might be the last room for Strike Man, hopefully. Thankfully, they're dropping all these health packs, which is good. Oh, there's two screws over there. I want to get them. What? How are we supposed to get them? Wait a second. No, there's spikes on top. Wait. Oh, wait. I got an idea. I have an idea. Hold on. Let me kill this guy. And use Rush Jets. There we go. That's how you do it. Or I could have used that soccer ball without any spikes on it, but... I don't know. I think it's easier to use Rush Jets. And, of course, the enemy respawns. Gotta kill it again. All right, so take out your triple blade, because we're about to fight Strike Man. So Strike Man just throws his ball at you. I think it's called the Rebound Striker. Yeah, just slice him up with the triple blade. And that was Strike Man. And that was 
all eight Robot Masters in Mega Man 10. You got a new weapon! Rebound Striker! And it can bounce on walls too, so that's good. And that takes care of this episode of Mega Man 10. See you in the third and final part.